Friday night baseball now from the Lone Star State and Minute Maid Park in Houston. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Seattle Mariners and the Houston Astros. It's Astros baseball, and it's next on the show. Walter Johnson is on the mound for Houston in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Let's play ball. You're out. Out. Three. Out. He's out. You're out. Three. Three. Ted Williams. To go. And he's carrying Astros. a batting average of just that, over 300. So clearly yeah. he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Moving under it, Santana. One away. All right, guys. Here's Seattle's defensive alignment. And let's focus on Kyle Seeger right here. Former Gold Glove third baseman, plays a reliable third base. I think something that he does better than anybody is his ability to come in on those swinging bunts or guys trying to lay a bunt down on him. He has the ability to have such soft hands. And make Digging in now, Ted Williams. He'll start things down Leading here up. in the home the fifth, Astros. and it's been tough sledding That's for this hitter. through the first half yeah. of the game. Yeah, they haven't had Will any go. momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now Lester's 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. One and two. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now another two two. He stays alive, still two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Great A-B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 3-2 one more time. And the perfect game will go by the wayside here as this pitch misses for ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out now of the zone. Number zero. Now at the plate, Rogers Hornsby. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The move it, move it, move it, move it. Order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. On to first, a double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Yeah. 
standing in. The Ted designated Williams. hitter, number nine, Ted Williams. Now the first pitch here from Lester. He pulls this one into right. Henniger is there, two down. Stepping into the box, Ted the designated Williams. hitter. He comes Number in nine. 0 for two thus far. Ted Williams. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and he had Here's to be right. looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah. You know, Dero, one of the things oh boy, about pitching is you want Check to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Stepping up now, Rogers Hornsby. He's hitless Number in three zero. at bats to this point. Williams, base runner at first with one out. Swung on, and there it goes. It is hot. It is far. It is gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 21 for him on the season. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four. season he's proven to be a solid tool at the back of the bullpen and every team needs one of those a six to four finish in tonight's affair the Seattle Mariners took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end John Lester earned his ninth win of the year turning in eight and a third of quality work Walter Johnson takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners, Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 18 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. downtown Houston, Texas on a Saturday night in Minute Maid Park. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Seattle Mariners and the Houston Astros. Astros baseball starts right now. Lefty Grove, a Maryland-born southpaw, will be doing the starting pitching in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong. Three. Out. Out. So now it'll be the four batting hole four. hitter, Ted Williams. The designated and he's hitter. carrying a batting average yeah. of just over 300. So really clearly God. he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. Even after the victory last time out, they come in trying to turn things around as they've been slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one On and the three. Back, Haven't it up, played particularly it up. well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to yeah, find yeah, a way the to play hard. a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Boy, you know, Dero, every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked Batting up. Fit. Trying to save runs for the your pitcher. Baseman. Give you another Double chance zero. to execute and get us out of this inning. Ready with the two and two. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Number 39 ranges back and he has it for route number two. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? You know, I'm looking for a big performance out of that guy in the sixth spot. He's one of the best hitters to ever play the game. We're talking about a guy with 3,000 hits, a Hall of Fame pedigree that doesn't come around too often. You better appreciate it while you have the chance to. Now at the plate, Stan Musial. That and a exists. golden opportunity no here to fielder. give his guys the lead yeah. with three men aboard. Musial. High in Come the on, air. Come on, dig, dig, dig the Roxton's under it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. On to the second inning now for Minute Maid Park with no score. So coming to the plate, Ted Williams. The designated hitter, number nine, Ted Williams. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Count one and oh. And that's inside for a ball, one and oh. A two and oh count to the Astros no DH. The 2-0 on the way. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Broxton's on his horse. He's there and records the first out. So stepping in, Ted Williams. The designated he flew hitter, out number his last nine. Bat. Almost, yeah. Matty, almost went deep his last day. Really he certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. Here comes the 0-1. Right on the inside, Black with a slider. Laid off but called the strike. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job get of getting base. it back in quickly. Yeah, he's got the outs when he's needed them and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch. Hard to keep that up over several innings, though. Digging in to try it again. Rogers Hornsby. It was a Double walk zero. in his last trip. Williams, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Hit hard on the ding, ground ding, to the ding. right. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will yeah, go yeah, no further than right second there. as there Where are two that? aboard now. 
Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that now hard, batting. 96 miles an the hour, left you have to honor that Damn. fastball and try and work it the other Excuse way to keep no. you on the off-speed. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Santana to gone. So striding in, Johnny Bench. The catcher as number he'll five. To bring home that tying run Johnny. from second with a base hit into Bench. the outfield. Holds Come on, go hard. You're scoring. You're scoring. Go hard. Santana has a read on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Five innings complete. Seattle leads this one one to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Ted Up next Williams. To he steps in off of the base hit in his hitter. last at bat. Yeah. yeah, and they take another single right here. Really? That's yeah. base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. He pulls this one in. Right, right here. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, I so they're at the corners now job. with only on one away. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a home or a walk or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Now batting. Number zero. Coming to the plate now, Rogers Hornsby, and their runners at the corners now. The 3 1. This is on the ground over the first. And he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night. It's a best hit. The and they right are there. on Good the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2 1 now. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Now Digging in it. once again, the Stan left fielder. Musial. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Musial. The 0-1 on its way. Popped up, number 39, moving to his left, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Striding in for Houston, Johnny Bench. The catcher, two outs and five. two runners aboard here in the Johnny. seventh inning. Bench. Big spot, two out, possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Weekly All right, hold it here, third. hold it here. Scooped up. On to Healy at first, and the side is retired. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Mariners are on top, two to one. Next will be the cleanup hitter. The Ted designated Williams. hitter. He's number working nine. on a three-hit ball game hey. right now. William. First offering on its way. Try to check it in its 0-1. One. one out, nobody on. Hit well on the ground to first. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And hey, if the first baseman is playing straight up there, that's probably a double down the line. But in order to prevent that late in the game, they had him guarding the line, and it obviously worked out perfectly. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, Our final and secured line score the W tonight. in the bottom First half. for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Win. Three, Three runs, two, the six finish hits, in tonight's no game. error. They the left Mariners 14 men on base. took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Yusei Kikuchi earns his team leading 11th minutes. win.
Lefty Grove pitched well, allowing only two attention. earned, that but ends up taking the loss. 41,168. the door for the, the save Astros, is 26. And remind so you that's to a wrap here tonight. From Southeast Texas, we welcome you inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Today, a contest from the AL West between the Seattle Mariners and the Houston Astros. The M's will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Babe Ruth starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good. So striding in, Lou Gehrig, as he'll look to bring home the that time run hitter. from second with a base Number hit into four. the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled to right hard. center You're scoring. field. Go hard. Heading after this is Broxton. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the second inning now for Minute Maid Park. It's the Mariners one, and the Astros nothing. Digging in the switch now hitter, Lou Gehrig. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. Sure does, and it's always yeah, difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. The Mariners do, of course, trail by a couple of runs already, so they're going to have to work from behind to earn the sweep. Sweeps aren't easy to do at this level, particularly with the competition being so stiff. They're down a couple of runs early, but there's a lot of baseball left, and the way they're playing right now, this game's far from over. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around, and the inning is over. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. On now to the top of inning number four. Astros lead this one three to one. Settling in now, Leading Lou Gehrig. He looked to bounce back after striking hitter. out his last time up. Number four. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Broxton's under it. One away.
Striding in, Lou Gehrig, 0 for 3 to this point. The batter. Yeah, not his game Number so four. far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. From the belt, the pitch. High and deep to right center. Broxton's under it. One away. All right, hold on. Right here, right here, right here. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Next will be the designated go, hitter, for Lou Astros, Gehrig. He'll lead things the off as they look hitter. to perhaps build Number on an four. already sizable lead. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. The M's came into this one riding pretty high, presented with the opportunity to sweep the series. However, it has clearly not gone the way they'd hoped. Come on, come on, come on. One of the things you have to do is play 27 yeah. outs and not give any at-bats away. They're down by several runs here. It doesn't look good, but they still have a chance. And when you have a chance, you have hope. Some good pitching, some good hitting. It all adds up to a 9-2 ball game as you get a look there at the inning-by-inning inning recap of our game to this point. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finish the month with a bang just the way you want to. 10-4 to four, the final in this game. Houston scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Babe Ruth earns win number seven on the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB our final The line Show. Score this for afternoon. more, make your way over First to the, the Show 10 runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes.